Good Saturday evening, guys. Uh, putting up another video. Can you believe it? It's only been a couple days, and here I am putting another one up already. Uh, I know it's been the periods between have been kind of long. So I'm not wearing my glasses tonight because I realized after watching my last video that there is quite a glare, uh, or can be quite a glare on my glasses from the the lights, the backlights. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot it without, and hopefully that way you don't get this, you know, in your face. So I did. Um, I kind of made a decision on the lights, uh, these overhead or these uh, auxiliary lights, these LED lights that you see here. Um, I, I thought about replacing them. I'm not sure if it, I couldn't tell what was wrong with them. I couldn't tell if it was the controller. Um, I checked the um, infrared remote, this doodad. I checked this with the camera on my phone because you can actually check for infrared signal by turning on the camera and then um, shooting into it like this and you can actually tell if there's an infrared signal coming from the remote. So this had an infrared signal coming from it, which tells me the remote's not bad, so it must be that the controller is bad. But, you know what, I could just buy another set, but honestly, if these already failed, it's only been less, it's been less than a year and these have already failed, um, and basically just stay on in red mode, I don't really want to buy another set if they're going to do the same thing. And other than the fact that they have nice ambient lighting and you can pick different colors, really I don't use them a lot. So. Um, honestly, a lot of times at night, when I'm just kind of winding down, I'll just have them in this red mode anyway, this this very dim red mode. So I figure I'll just keep them like that. When I want to use them, I'll just, uh, or when I don't want to use them, I'll just disconnect the power on them. So what I did get instead, uh, I needed another auxiliary light that was rechargeable. Um, and I, the one I have is very nice. It, it's, uh, well, let's see if I can just show you. It's probably going to blow out the, the camera because of how bright it is. So this guy... Um, is will run for four hours on low and it's very bright on low and I got this at Walmart um, a year or so ago it was like 25 bucks on on clearance so this is very it, this is great it runs for four hours a night I use it a lot when I go to sleep or when I'm winding down at night because uh, um, I can just turn it on and then I don't have to worry about it running down yeah I don't have to worry about turning it off because it just runs down on its own the only drawback to it is that uh, when you charge it, you can't use it. So you go, well, what's the point there? Well, because if I need it just for a moment, you know, maybe I just need a light for a moment and it's dead. If I plug it in to charge it, it will not turn on while it's in charging mode. So I went to Walmart and got another one today. Um, let's see. So it's this guy. So it'll either turn on all four corners of the LED and it's magnetic and stuff, so you can attach to things, although I won't use it that way. But it's you can basically set what uh, orientation it has, uh, you know, to set it up on something. So you can either run all four LEDs on bright, or you can run just half of it so that it runs longer. So all four LEDs on bright will run for three hours. But the beauty of this rechargeable is that if it's dead, I can plug it in. It can be charging, and I can use it at the same time. So I find that to be pretty handy. Because that's the one disadvantage that other one has is it can't be used while it's charging. So uh, I think it'll work out pretty well. And it, I'm, I'm imagining I haven't seen this video yet. I haven't checked it yet, but I would imagine that there's plenty of light from these two lights to uh, light up the place. So the point of the video today is, as always, I like to ramble apparently. So the point of the video today, and I actually did make four little points because I just wanted to make sure I'd remember them all. Look at this. I'm finally doing something off of a checklist. Can you believe it? I still, uh, you know, speak off the top of my head, but I wanted to make sure I got all four of these. The point of the video today is to say, who gets blocked on this channel? You know, uh, I've, I've had to block quite a few people, and, you know, people want to gripe and moan, and they want to say, oh, these people policing their channels, and they don't allow free speech. Free speech is not guaranteed, by the way. Uh, for those that like to say free speech should be guaranteed and that we're censoring free speech, you better check your constitution, you better check your civics lesson, and you better go back to do some research on that because you're not guaranteed free speech. Certainly not in this setting where in this setting this is my channel. So I get the last word. That's how it works. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. So this is not a free speech zone. I don't have problem with people disagreeing with me, but here's four things that will get your blocked on my channel. Uh, number one, if you impersonate another YouTuber, so whether or not you like, I'll go ahead and put his name out there because uh, I know him, I've met him, I don't have any problem with him. 
and I'm not getting into the history and all the what has happened or what hasn't happened. That's irrelevant to this video. The point is, it's to make the first point of who gets blocked. There are people that like to impersonate Eric, Nomadic Fanatic. Uh, and so then they like to go out on the internet, they like to pretend to be him, and they like to cause trouble or they like to harass people while pretending to be Eric. So that's a first example. So I get those guys coming over to my channel and they appear to be Nomadic Fanatic, but then if you click on their name and it takes you to their actual YouTube channel, you see that they are clearly not Eric, who is Nomadic Fanatic. So if you come to my channel and you pretend to be another YouTuber, impersonating another YouTuber, that will get you blocked immediately. I don't even care what your comment is. I don't even care if your comment is uh, positive, actually. You could say, hey, Jay, I love your videos, fantastic videos. If you're doing that under the moniker of pretending to be someone else who you are not, clearly, you're going to get blocked, regardless of what your comment is. So that's just the way it works. I blocked a couple of those yesterday, people pretending to be another YouTuber. Uh, second one would be if you're harassing someone else on this channel. So if you're harassing another person who has com commented on this channel and then you're harassing them, that will get you blocked real fast too. So, you know, you're on notice. This is how it works. I don't really care if you like it. My channel, my rules. So, tough. If you don't like it, you know where the door is. Uh, the next one is if you're just being vile. You know, I get people coming on here and usually it has to do with the fact that I'm gay. And so since I'm gay, they like to make all kinds of nasty, vile remarks about me or about the fact that I'm gay or whatever the case may be like that. So it's not so much about it being an attack on me, but it's more about the language that they use. So if you're using vile language uh, about me or about someone else in, the, in such a manner, you're going to get blocked. That's just how it is. Uh, it's not going to be tolerated here. Um, and then the last one would be... This one has happened a few times too. If you come on to the channel and you start leaving comments and it's clear that, you know, we have a little back and forth, you know, you disagree with me on something. Like this happened a lot on the heat video, how to stay warm in an RV cabin or off-grid scenario. I got a lot of this on that video about what I talked about as far as heating choices. So there were a few people, there were a couple people that uh, wanted to disagree with me about my video. And that's fine. And so I had a little back and forth with them. But then, that should have been the end of it. But then they just wanted to keep going. They just wanted to keep it, they just basically just wanted to argue with me and just keep going and going. And I would say, all right, well, this is the end of the conversation. And then they wanted to keep going. I'm not going to do that all day long, okay? I've got stuff to do. This is not my only income. It's not the only thing I do. And so if you are basically just arguing for the sake of arguing, you're going to get blocked. Especially after I tell you, okay, that's the end of the conversation. And if I say that's the end of the conversation and the person keeps going, you're going to get blocked. That's how it's going to work. I'm not going to put up with it. So you may think that, you know, I got guys saying, oh, you have an anger problem. No, no, no. This isn't an anger issue. This is I just have no tolerance for issue. Okay? So it's this. I'll remind you again, for the, and obviously most of the people on this channel this doesn't apply to because most of the people on this channel are very positive. They're very supportive. They leave very nice comments. Even if they disagree with me, you can still be agreeable while being, or, you know, you can still be agreeable while disagreeing with me, okay? Um, but the reality of it is, is there are some people that come here just to cause problems. And so they, they want to say that, uh, you know, how dare I respond to them in such a way? How dare I shut down their free speech? How dare I block them? How dare I, you know, whatever I, whatever it is they think I'm doing wrong in response. Here's the thing. This channel is just like my house. So what do you do if someone comes into your house as a guest and starts acting a fool? You kick them out. That's what you would do in your house. Well, this channel is my house. So if you come here and start acting a fool, I'm going to do the same thing to you that if you I would do if you were in my house and acting a fool. I'm going to kick you out. So you, it should be obvious, right? Good behavior should be a, a natural response for most people, and it is a good. It is a natural response for most people. Most people do behave in a very pleasant, very supportive, even if they disagree with me, a very polite way. That is most people. But I always get a few, you know. And yeah, everyone says, "Well," and I know, I know what a lot of the positive comments are going to be right now. They're going to be, "Oh, don't worry about it. Just ignore them." Right? Well, 
I do for the most part ignore him. For the most part, I do just block him if I need to block him. But I still think uh, rules of conduct, rules of the road should be laid out here. Just so there's no excuses, right? So let's just recap. Don't impersonate another YouTuber if you want to be on this channel commenting. Don't harass other people on this channel if you want to be able to leave a comment. Don't be vile. Okay? In other words, act like you're in the company of your mother, let's say. And don't say things that you wouldn't say around your mother, for instance. Assuming your mother is a good, wholesome person like mine is and most of ours, I hope, is. But don't be vile. And then the last thing is, don't argue for the sake of arguing. You know, you can disagree with me, but if it goes on and on and on, I'm going to cut you off. So, anyway, that's a very short video, but I wanted to just say these are the rules of the road. If you don't like the rules of the road, go somewhere else. It's so simple. My channel, my rules. But for the rest of you, which is the bulk of people that comment on this channel and are very positive and are very supportive, thank you so much. Uh, it's been really nice, and I have to say that you might ask why I made this video, right? The reason I decided to make this video was because my last video on dating obviously touched on the fact of my orientation that I'm gay. And that, every time I put up a video about anything that in any way hints to or suggests or talks about the fact that I'm gay, I always lose subscribers. So I've lost about 50 subscribers in the last couple days, and that's fine. I'm not worried about it because you know what? I don't need bigots on this channel anyway. But the reason I mention it is because people go, well, why do you bring this up? Or why do you why do you mention that you're gay? Why does it matter? Why don't you just keep it to yourself? Why don't you just be quiet about it? Here's the reason why. And you may not understand it, because if you are not gay, then it's not going to make sense to you. But here's the reason for it. When I don't say anything, like when I first started this channel and I had not yet addressed the issue, even though I knew I was going to at some point, then the assumption is that I must be straight. The assumption is that I must be dating women. And so the comments proliferate with, oh, do you have a girlfriend? Have you ever had a girlfriend? Are you going to have a girlfriend? Are you going to date women? Or, or, you know, when are you going to start dating? And so there's the automatic assumption, just like with many things when it comes to social uh, norms or whatever, there's an assumption that I must date women. And so I have to put it out there to say, hey, don't make that assumption about me because that's not who I am. And you could say, well, if you don't want to lose subscribers, why don't you just not say anything? You know, why don't you just leave it open to people's whatever, you know, their own assumptions or imagination? I'm in my 40s. Uh, I made a decision long, long time ago, over 20 years ago, that I'd much rather be true. I'd much rather be authentic about who I am. Now, yes, sometimes that comes at a cost. Sometimes, like, I mean, this isn't really a cost per se, I don't think. Although maybe you could make an argument it is a cost in AdSense revenue or something. But, uh, yes, it costs me some subscribers whenever this comes up, right? Some people peel out and they leave whenever they find this out or they hear that. That's fine. You know what, I don't want you here if you're that, if you have an issue with that. But the reality of it is, I would much rather be authentic, I'd much rather be myself, and if that means it takes me longer to make the same uh, subscriber gain or the same, you know, gain in ad revenue or whatever else, however you else, you know, a person may see it or however else I may see it, I'd much rather do it in a slower fashion, being my true, authentic self. That's why. That's why the issue of who I am comes up sometimes, even though it frustrates people, some people, obviously the people that leave and the people that leave nasty comments about, you know, they make vile comments. Sometimes they're not vile com comments. Uh, like one guy on the last video, the dating video, was just like, he basically said, I don't need to hear about your sexual perversion. Uh, okay. But the point is, and I did leave his comment up and I did respond to his comment because of it, and yeah, I was a little nasty back to him. And you know, I'll get I'll get grief for that too. Like, why aren't you nicer to people? Really? So you're nice to people whenever they're nasty to you? You can choose to be that way, I suppose, if you want. Um, but I learned a long time ago, at about age 15, that I learned an important life lesson at age 15, which is that people will push and push and push and push until you draw the line. 
So I don't put up with it. I always draw a line. When it comes to things like that, I always draw a line. And I will continue drawing a line until the day I die. So that's why I put it out there. That's why I talk about it. Because otherwise it's assumed something else. Something else is assumed. And, you, and people will go, well, it's not relevant to, it, uh, to this being an RV channel. Uh, well, wait a second. Let's, let's rewind that for a moment. If I was dating women, let's say. Let's say I was heterosexual and I was dating women. Those people that have those channels that are heterosexual and, and, are, and are the RV life, they talk about that kind of thing when they talk about dating. Right? They talk about those kinds of issues, or it's just assumed, or maybe you see the girlfriend, or maybe you see the boyfriend that they're seeing, right? So, it is no different. It's just that I'm coming from a different perspective than the heterosexual RVer, or vanner, right? But it's still a relevant issue, because it still has to do with living this way in an RV or a van. It is still relevant. It is still part of this life, right? So, uh, most people, and I think, you know, obviously I'm speaking about the minority here that have a problem with it. Granted, it is the minority. But I still think it's relevant to address it. Uh, because they like to uh, somehow assume that this portion of my life should be compartmentalized over here and not talked about. Although, if I was heterosexual, that would be granted that, of course, I would talk about it and there would be no problem with it. Nobody would be leaving nasty comments if I was heterosexual and talking about dating. So, that's why I talk about it, that's why I bring it up, and that's why I made this video today about how you will get blocked if you don't behave yourself. Okay? So anyway, for everyone else, which is the bulk of you, which is the majority of people that leave the very nice comments below on every video that I shoot, thank you so much. I do appreciate all those comments. I, I do respond to them all. If for some reason I missed your comment and didn't respond, that would be an anomaly because I don't know how that happened. But I do make an effort to respond to every single comment. And so thank you so much for all your support. And then, um, so all this is to say, this just means it's going to be a little slower climb to let's say 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers. Because obviously I bleed some subscribers off every time we have a video like this. And I'll probably lose some subscribers with this video. But, you know what we should do? I should title this video, The Subscriber Purge. So this is now a Subscriber Purge video. <laughs> this is Subscriber Purge number one. How's that? We're going to call it Subscriber Purge number one. Uh, so let me show you the animals, and then uh, we're going to wrap this video, because obviously, again, I'm rambling. So I'm going to grab my little portable light here and show you Magnum. And Magnum, Magnum just got his dinner, and... Uh, and so now he's bedded down for the night. I took him outside and walked him and stuff. I was going to shoot some video yesterday of him at the park. And the day got away from me. And now that it gets dark so early, unfortunately, I didn't get to do it. So hopefully uh, in the next couple days, I'll shoot some video of him at the park, in the park, running around in the park. Since people, some people may, uh, seem to think maybe he doesn't ever get out of this van, even though he's out of this van in a dog park every day for two to four hours every single day running around until he just doesn't want to do it anymore or at least walking around until he doesn't want to do it anymore so anyway let me show you the animals hey Magnum hey buddy oh he's twitching I think he's dreaming Magnum hey Magnum <laughs> yes we're going sideways with the camera because I have it on the tripod so yes, we are going sideways. I'm not going to get him to meow because he saw me coming with the light, and so he meowed before I even got the curtain open because he heard me coming. See, now you guys know my, now you know my behind-the-scenes secret about how I get him to meow. So now it's no longer a mystery. Now you know how he meows. So on cue, I have to startle him, and I don't startle him in a mean way, but I have to startle him, and then he will meow every single time. All right, guys. That's it. That's a wrap. So I will see you on the next video. See? Look at this. I made a video in less than a week. So I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Bye.